Hi, hello, welcome to my channel Learn More Maths. My name is Varak Kumar. Today we are going to solve a problem from fifth chapter quadratic equations exercise 5.3 sixth problem. See here what he is asking to find as the diagonal of a rectangular field is 60 meters more than the shorter side. If the longer side is 30 meters more than the shorter side find the sides of the field so see here uh, what he has given there is a rectangular field so he is comparing the diagonal and the longer side with the shorter side so we don't know the length of the shorter side so see here suppose uh, if the rectangular field is uh, like this uh, this is the rectangular field so this is shorter side generally we know it is as breadth this is a longer side it is known as length of the rectangle and this is the diagonal of the rectangle so he is saying that the diagonal of the rectangle is 60 meters more than the shorter side and the longer side of the rectangle is 30 meters more than the shorter side so let the shorter side be x meters so this is the shorter side so this is also whatever it may be so this is the shorter side uh, let the length of the shorter side be x meters if it is x so the diagonal is 60 meters more than the shorter side so 60 meters more means we have to add 60 to the shorter side we can get the diagonal so it becomes x plus 60 since it is 60 meters more than the shorter side so and the longer side is 30 meters more than the shorter side so we have to add 30 to the shorter side to get the longer side since it is 30 meters more more means we have to add less means you have to subtract so here uh, it becomes x plus 30 and it becomes x plus 60 so let the length of the shorter side be x meters uh, then the length of uh, uh, longer side becomes x plus 30 meters and the length of diagonal becomes x plus 60 meters so here uh, the all angles in the rectangle are right angles so here it is right angle so these three are the sides of a right angled triangle so in a right angled triangle according to Pythagoras theorem we have base square plus height square is equal to hypotenuse square using this relation we can get uh, an equation so see here what we have to write uh, so solution let the length of the shorter side be x meters yes this is x meters then its longer side becomes x plus 30 meters so this is the longer side it becomes x plus 30 meters and its diagonal becomes x plus 60 meters yes this is the diagonal it becomes x plus 60 meters as shown in the adjacent figure yes it is like this so here from the figure they are the sides of a right angled triangle so now these three are the sides of a right angled triangle so we have base square plus height square equal to hypotenuse square so here uh, uh, base square base is x plus 30 so base square is x plus 30 whole square height is x height square is x plus x square and it, uh, hypotenuse square is x plus 60 whole square so now we have x plus 30 whole square plus x square is equal to x plus 60 whole square so just we have to simplify here it is in the form a plus b whole square a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square using that formula we have to expand here so see here what we get uh, a square is x square plus 2ab 2 into x into 30 plus b square uh, b square is 30 square uh, b square is 30 square and write this x square as usual is equal to so here also it is in the form a plus b whole square again a square is x square plus 2ab 2 into x into 60 plus b square a b square is 60 square 60 square so now see here again we have to simplify what we get uh, write this x square as usual so here we have to multiply 
2 into x into 30. 2 into 30 is 60. 60 into x 60x. So it is 60x plus 30 square is 30 into 30. We get 900. 30 into 30 is 900. So write this x square. So we can write this x square plus x square 2x square. So just we have to add these two. So is equal to what is there on the right side uh, x square plus multiply 2 into 60 120 into x 120x plus 60 square 60 into 60 we get 3600 3600 so now take these three terms to the uh, left side so here already 2x square is there right 2x square plus 60x plus 900 now take if you take all these three terms to the right side here plus x square is there it becomes minus x square and plus 120x it becomes minus 120x so plus 3600 it becomes minus 3600 is equal to 0 so here what will be 0 so now just we have to simplify again 2x square minus x square we get x square so next plus 60x plus plus 60x so minus 120x we get minus 60x here minus 60x plus 900 minus 3600 we get minus uh, 2700 minus 2700 is equal to 0 x square minus 60x minus 2700 is equal to 0 so now it is in the form of a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. So now we have to solve by factorization method. So see here what we get. Here x square coefficient is 1, x coefficient is minus 60, constant is minus 2700. So we have to multiply the coefficient of x square with the constant. So here the coefficient of x square is 1 and the constant is minus 2700. 1 into minus 2700 equal to minus 2700. So now we have to select two factors uh, for minus 2700. Here the condition is uh, their product should be minus 2700 and their sum should be minus 60. So now I am selecting minus 90 and plus 30. Minus 90 and plus 30. So minus 90 into plus 30 we get minus 2700 and minus 90 plus 30 is equal to minus 60 we get minus 60 so these two are the factors so now uh, see here what we get uh, write this x square as usual but this minus 60x i am writing minus 90x plus 30x plus 30x and uh, write this minus 2700 as usual is equal to 0 so just I have written this minus 60x as the sum of minus 90x plus 30x. So here uh, x is common in the first two terms. I am taking x as common. What we get x. So here x will be here minus 90. So in the last two terms plus 30 is common. So again here x here we get minus 90 is equal to 0. So now x minus 90 is common in both uh, uh, both the terms. Uh, I am taking x minus 90 as common. What we get here x minus 90 into. So here x is there here plus 30. So x minus 90 into x plus 30 is equal to 0. So the product of these two terms will be 0. When it possible either x minus 90 is equal to 0 or x plus 30 is equal to 0. Then only their product is equal to uh, 0. So here x minus 90 equal to 0, x minus 90 equal to 0 or x plus 30 is equal to 0, x plus 30 equal to 0. So now we have to take minus 90 to the right side, we get x is equal to 90. So minus 90 becomes plus 90 or here again take plus 30 to the right side, it becomes minus 30, x is equal to minus 30. Now we have two values for x, uh, uh, one is 90 and the other is minus 30. So actually what is x? x is uh, the length of the shorter side. So length of the side must be positive always. So here uh, negative is there one, one value is negative. 
therefore we have to take only positive value therefore x is equal to 90 so that we have to write see here how can we write so since x is the length of the side it must be positive always therefore x is equal to 90 so what is the positive value here this is positive it is negative you have to take only positive value uh, therefore x is equal to 90 if x is equal to 90 we have to find x plus 30 so we require only x plus 30 so therefore if x is equal to so if x is equal to 90 then x plus 30 is equal to 90 plus 30 that is 120 so he is asking to find the sides of the field therefore the sides of the field are 90 meters and 120 meters therefore uh, therefore the sides of the field equal to 90 meters and 120 meters so like this we can find uh, this is a, a sixth problem in exercise 5.3 so next we have to solve seventh problem uh, this is the seventh problem in exercise 5.3 uh, see here what he has given and what he is asking to find as the difference of squares of two numbers is 180 uh, the square of the smaller number is uh, 8 times the larger number find the two numbers uh, so see here he is saying about the numbers uh, so the squares of the difference of two numbers is 180 and there is larger and smaller here so see here let the larger number be x let the larger number be x and the smaller number be y so let the larger number be x and the smaller number be y since the difference of their squares is 180 since the difference of their squares is 180 we get so squares x square and y square their squares becomes x square and y square difference means we have to subtract the smaller from the larger so here larger number is x so x square is larger than y square since x is larger than y so since the squares since the difference of their squares is 180 we get x square minus y square is equal to 180 let it is equation number one so and uh, and he has given and the square of the smaller number is eight times the larger number and the square of the smaller number is eight times the larger number so here smaller number is y square of the smaller number becomes y square it is equal to what 8 times the larger number the larger number is x 8 times means we have to multiply by 8 so 8 into x so square of the smaller number is equal to 8 times the larger number that is y square is equal to 8x let it is equation number 2 from equations 1 and 2 we get uh, so this is equation 1 it is equation 2 so in equation 1 y square is there from equation 2 what is there y square equal to 8x just we have to write 8x instead of y square in equation 1 so see here uh, x square minus y square is there instead of y square i have written 8x is equal to 180 so now take 180 to the right uh, left side it becomes x square minus 8x so minus 180 is equal to 0 so now it is a quadratic equation which is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 so now you have to solve using factorization method here the coefficient of x square is how much 1 and the coefficient of x is minus 8 constant is minus 180 so multiply the coefficient of x square with the constant that is 1 into minus 180 so see here what we get up 1 into minus 180 is equal to how much it is minus 180 180 now we have to select two factors for minus 180 here the condition is that their product should be minus 180 and their sum should be minus 8 so now i am selecting minus 18 into plus 10 minus 18 into plus 10 which is minus 180 and minus 18 plus 10 we get minus 8 minus 18 plus 10 we get minus 8 so now I write this x square as usual but this minus 8x i am writing as minus 18x 
plus 10x minus 18x plus 10x and write this minus 180 as usual which is equal to 0 just i have written this minus 8x as a minus 18x plus 10x so now x is common in the first two terms i am taking x as common so see here what we get here x will be here minus 18 will be so in the last two terms plus 10 is common so here x will be here minus 18 will be is equal to 0 so in the first two terms just i have taken x is common in the last two terms just i have taken 10 is common so again in the both the terms x minus 18 is common here so see here what we get i am taking x minus 18 is common so if x minus 18 is common here x is there here plus 10 is there is equal to 0 uh, see here just i have taken x minus 18 as common so here x is there a right x here plus 10 is there right plus 10 so now x minus 18 into x plus 10 equal to 0 uh, therefore we get x minus 18 equal to 0 or x plus 10 is equal to 0 x plus 10 is equal to 0 so now take minus 18 to the right side we get x is equal to plus 18 x is equal to 18 or take plus 10 to the right side it becomes x is equal to minus 10 x is equal to minus 10 so we have x values two values for x one is plus 18 and the other is minus 10 so next we have to find y value by substituting x values in y square is equal to 8x so from that relation we can get y value so see here if x is equal to 18 into 18 so here uh, substitute x equal to 18 in a uh, uh, equation 2 so y square equal to 18 to x wherever x is there write x equal to 8 18 to 18 we can get 144 how much it is 144 equal to 144 that implies y is equal to y is equal to how much plus or minus 12 so in the same way we have to substitute x equal to minus 10 which is a minus 80 so it is a undefined y square is equal to minus 80 it is an undefined a square of any number must be positive only the square of any number must be y is a smaller number the square must be positive only here we have y square equal to minus 80 it is undefined so indeterminate form it is uh, just we have to take x equal to 18 if x equal to 18 we have y is equal to plus or minus 12 so see here uh, so we have x is equal to 18 or x is equal to minus 10 and y is equal to plus or minus 12 y is equal to plus or minus 12 therefore the numbers are either 18 or 12 18 or 12 so just we have to take x equal to 18 only so don't take x equal to or minus 10 so why if we take x equal to minus 10 we are getting y square equal to minus 80 so x is equal to not minus 10 just x is equal to plus 18 only if x equal to 18 then y is equal to take plus 12 so this is one set so here the two numbers are 18 and plus 12 or 18 and minus 12 so here uh, these two are the possible uh, numbers so this is the seventh problem in exercise 5.3 so next we have to solve uh, eighth problem so that's all today's class we will learn in the next class uh, thanks for watching